What's up everybody? So we are down today at the qualifier to Scotland's Strongest Man down in Dumfries at Burns Gym. So this is where it all started for Tom and myself. A great bunch of guys, I think there's about 40 guys competing today. So what this does will uh, make you go to the Scotland Strongest Man final. So top 20 guys get an invite to the final Scotland Strongest Man. And obviously winning Scotland Strongest Man is one of the, the best titles I would say in the UK. You know. 100%. Yeah, this, is, this is what all started for us. Walking through here, remember us lifting here, us lifting outside. The godfather of the Scottish strength scene as well, Stuart Murray. So yeah, it's good to be back here. We've not been here for, for a long quite, time. quite a while, so it's nice to get, see the people and uh, yeah, pick up some old memories that we left behind here. So, so we're, we're going to film the whole event today. We're going to pick our favourites, get some interviews with the guys, showcase the best of Scotland, which is here today. So really excited to see it. Uh, we're going to talk to Stuart, get the list of events and may the best men or may, may the best man win. Today we are live in Dumfries. The weather is sunny. What a great day. There's something going on in the background. Back to you guys in the studio. Boom. As I've said, it's uh, Scotland's Strongest Man qualifier today. One of the favourites, I would say, for Scotland's Strongest Man this year. Mr Scott Milton, how are you feeling mate? Hi, feeling good. Look. Good, aye. Yeah. How old are you? Yeah, I'm 30, I'll be 32 next week. Good. 32 right. Monday. <laughs> Just a baby. So, <laughs> excited, what's your plans for today? I've got the UK Strongest Man Eliminator right. in two weeks time, cool. on the 30th of April, so today it's just a lot of qualifying, good. just coming away injury free and good. you know, good to go in two weeks time. 100% mate, awesome, <laughs> no, I look forward to watching the UK's, looking forward to the Scotland Strongest Man final as well, it's going to be a good one this year I think. Ah, there's some, uh, so certainly a good lineup of boys, you yeah. know what I mean, so it should be tasty. Awesome mate, <laughs> well we'll be there, Big Tommy will hopefully be there as well. <laughs> Don't know, don't know. But anyway, we'll let you get ready, mate. Thank you so much, best luck today. Thank you, man. Take care, thanks. Cheers. Lewis Jack, how are you feeling, mate? I'm feeling good. Sun's yeah. shining, so yes. can't complain. You're looking big, mate. I'm bigger than I've ever been. What weight are you? 152 kilos. This is a chest one. That's huge, one. 152 kilos. 152. Pressing going okay? Pressing's good, deadlift's good, about four or five of the I week. I saw that, so yeah, mate, that's awesome. Everything's going really well. Really? So, yeah. Okay, good, good. And you're doing UKs as well, yeah? UKs in about eight weeks. So. Okay, so this is what's this today, just qualify? Try and just qualify as easily as, as I can. Yeah. I mean, all the boys are getting stronger. Yes, so. yes. Hopefully they don't make it too hard today, you know. Do you want to make a statement today? No. No, not nothing like that. No, I'll make my statement like that, the final. Good, good. Well, best luck today, mate. Thanks a lot. Have a safe comp. Cheers, Cheers mate. Thank you. Has been. I mean, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Malouzi, how are you feeling today, mate? I'm good, mate. Good. <laughs> I'm, I'm really good, yeah, I'm buzzing, I'm buzzing. Obviously you've got the pedigree, you've been out to World's Strongest Man before. Are you going to win Scotland's Strongest Man? I'll win the final. Yes. But the qualifying is just a qualifying. That's confidence, mate, I like that. So you're just here, just chill, qualify, then put in the hard work for Scotland's Strongest Man in September. That's it. 100%. Do the bare minimum. Bare minimum. Get through. Yeah. The 20 guys go through, so. Yeah. If I come 18th, 19th, doesn't matter. It does, does make a difference. And are you doing UKs as well? Have you got UKs on? Or you That's not? the plan. So I've got to qualify for UKs. Okay. At the end of this month. Right. Okay. Cool. And the UKs are in a couple of weeks later. Right. Okay. So it's all depends on the diary. So looking, looking to do well in the UKs, get to UKs, smash that. I hope you win Scotland's strongest man, mate. I really, really do. I'm, and I, I, I know I wind you up. <laughs> and I know I slag you off, but I genuinely do hope you win because I think you've been one of the best guys, one of the most consistent guys since I've started competing and then you've come on the scene and then you've got that, you've got that potential, you really do, so I really hope you do, Good man. just, just smash it, 100%. I'll be there, don't worry. Good mate, best luck today, smash it. Right, Good awesome, man. cheers man. Good man. Just turned 20, you look about 50 but it's alright. Ah yeah, top paper round. <laughs> the youngest competitor today, Mr Aidan Robb, currently Scotland's strongest junior. Yeah, one in December. December. Okay, and you're, you just said you turned 20, right? Yeah, I turned 20. Okay, cool. And what's your plans today? I'm just going to have a wee play about. To be fair, I just want to see how I can keep up with these sort of bigger guys. Okay. Um, there's no event I'm really worried about, apart from the link. I've never done the, the anchor drag before, right, okay. so that'll be new. But apart from that, yeah, everything else, I can hit the numbers quite comfortably. Yeah, so. What's your strongest event, would you say? 
Uh, stones. Stones? Stones. Like and big Tommy then, eh? Yeah, good. I've got a 180 stone for a triple, so good, mate. That's really good. quite nice at stones, but that's probably I'm dead left them alright then. Good. Well. I'm excited to see you, mate. I like to see the the youth coming through, you know, that's what there's, it's all about. There's not many young ones in Scotland that could do it, so true, true. trying to push on and show them that they all can do it. Good, mate, 100%. Than... Definitely, mate. Well, best of luck today. Thank you. Hope you smash it. I Thanks hope we'll see you in the final. Eh? Uh, fingers crossed. Cheers, Aidan. Thank you, mate. Thank cheers, you. Cheers, cheers. Big contender. What was your best place in Scotland's strongest man, Chris? It was sixth last sixth, year. Sixth, sixth. We've been sort of creeping up every year. So. What are you planning this year? Top five. Top Just five. One step up. Without any higher, it would be awesome. Yeah. Top five is an actual tradition. I think, how, how long have you can? been competing for you've been a few years now yeah i think it's six years now. Uh, i was really bad when i started i remember you were awful nice yeah <laughs> i mean i'm only joking no but it's nice to see that progression it's gone really really good for you and your deadlift has gone up quite a lot the last couple of years as well yeah hasn't it? yeah that was always when i first started my weakness was deadlift I yes i was fit i could sort of do some overhead i was always half decent stones with the deadlift through the helmet back and yeah. just sort of had a focus on that yes um, that you your suit, which is yeah. getting a lot out of you. Uh, so yeah, hopefully I love a max in the final, just yes. to see that sort of ranked in there. It's exciting when there's a max deadlift, no, I, I think it would be good. Any max event in Scotland is always exciting. Um, so no, it'll be good, so plans today, qualify. Um, yeah, qualify. I want to have a good push. Yeah, 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 good. I'm getting on. I find make it hard a statement. To, yeah, yeah, yeah I, definitely. I make a statement, but I find it hard to come in at like 70% and just see how I get on. I'd rather 100%, push. Yeah. I think that's the best way to do in these these comps is just give it a good a good run out and see how the body copes with it. Especially with there's so many unknowns that the yep. guys there's a lot of guys I don't know. Yes, yes. I don't know how good they are. Um, so it's exciting as well. Yeah. I think that's the joy of the qualifier being so big, so many people. Like you say, you get all these random guys coming in. I remember someone thought I was from Norway the first time I did it. But no, best of luck today, mate. I hope you smash it. And looking forward to Scotland's strongest man. See you smash it there, get the podium there. Yeah, awesome, man. Love it, mate. Oh, look at these Cheers, strong man crocs. Oh, hey. Nice. We're up for the yoke. We're there for the yoke, guy. Cheers, man. Cheers, man. Andy Black. My name's Michael Walsh. I'm 30 years old and I come from Leaving Fife. What's your plans today? Uh, qualify. <laughs> qualify, aye. Just what, what place did you come last year in Scotland Strong as well? Second. Second? Aye. So you're planning to win it this year? That's my plan anyway. Hopefully. Easy. Easy. I'll be rooting for you, mate. Best of luck today. Thank you very much. Cheers. Oh. All the best. So the events for the official Scotland Strong's Man qualifier are 135 kilogram wheelbarrow clean and press for reps. So Axel basically 135 kilogram axle clean and press floor to overhead as many reps as you can I don't know the time limit they've not said it yet in the rules meeting they'll say that but 135 kilograms the weights are going up and up every year which is good to see second one is 370 kilogram yoke into a chain and anchor drag so you see a lot of these so it's now kind of a medley so you do the yoke first then you have to drag the chain 15 meters across the line you know nice and simple one again a, tr a very, very brutal event for your conditioning, very, very brutal event overall, so this is going to be a fun one to watch. Third one, 100 kilogram to 140 sandbag loading, simple, sandbags, probably four sandbags, maybe three sandbags, who knows, loaded, 20 metres, there and back, easy as peasy. And then, 300 kilogram. Texas bar deadlift for reps. There's a lot of big deadlifters here. 300 kilograms shouldn't be a bother for a lot of these guys. So again, nice simple. 300 kilogram on a bar. You, you deadlift it as much time, much many times as you can. Last but not least, 120, 280 kilogram at the stones is a final event. Again, lots of good stone lifters here. I look forward to watching this one. I love the at the stones. Who's going to win the Stoughton Strawers Man qualifier? We'll soon find out. What are you looking most forward to? All of them. I mean. <coughs> this is where I started Strawman, as you know, Stuart Murray is the godfather of uh, Scottish strength sport. This road here is where I did one of my first competitions as well, so just to even come down here, you see the memories, you walk inside the gym, the gym still looks the same, this bit still looks the same, usually it's not as beautiful sunshine down here, usually it's just a tent and dark, so it's nice and as many there's 40 people competing here and I think I only know about 10 of them, you know, Strawman in Scotland's growing massively and I just look forward to them all, you know, it's nice to not be competing for once. And I get to cheer on the people 
get to see some different events as well and it'll be fun to watch like I said but yeah 40 of the strongest guys in Scotland competing here today it's going to be fun and what's the reason that you stopped doing Scotland's with Luke? I wanted to get Scotland's strongest man five times but Luke paid me a lot of money to not do it and uh, yeah I just had to give him something but now nah, uh, joking aside basically you know, I won obviously Scotland's two years in a row and then after that, you know, I was getting on the Giants live scene and getting invited to these competitions. I was like, Scotland Strawers man was just a bit of a hindrance for me in the, in the calendar year. It was falling between the four World Strawers man. It was falling after big competitions, before before big competitions. It was just too much in the calendars, though. And also, I wanted to give, in my eyes, if I'm winning Scotland Strawers man five, six years in a row, it's not going to improve me. It's not going to make me a better athlete. So I wanted to give, you know, give someone else a place. So, for example. The next up and coming in Scotland is obviously Andy Black. He might win it for the next year or two, then he should give it to somebody else. I think that's how you improve the sport. So I think if, you know, once you get past the Scottish level and you're getting invited to these bigger comps, you should just step away from that. Let the up and comers guys come, in, come into the sport, do the, do the competition and win it. And that's how you're going to get more and more, you know, big Scottish guys here. So that's why I did it. But who knows, I might make my return and win it another five times just to wind up Luke. But the real thing is he paid me 100,000 quid. First, we paid our road like first. Oh, we were still missing three of them. Right. <laughs> 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 it's just three of them. I'm a bonum. Oh, God. Cool. Jesus. 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 The clean and press, We've got the big wagon wheels, I think it's 135 kilos for reps. So the guys are just going through that. Worn up the hamstrings, shoulders. It's not too bad because the sun's facing away from the press, so the sun shouldn't be an issue. I think Zaki will probably smash us and Big Lewis Jack as well. I think they'll do really well. A lot of people say that you're not really fussed about, you know, fussed about the competition, but once that adrenaline kicks in, once the, the competitive nature of the guys kick in, I think we'll see a really good good show today. So anyway, I hope the guys give a, a big run out and just, just smash it. So we'll see what happens. We'll see if we can get a few more chats with the guys. I might get Andy just now. So the warm-ups are over. All the athletes are coming out onto the field right now. We are 15 minutes away from starting the first event. And uh, yeah, I look forward to it. Like I said, who's going to win it? We'll soon find out. 15 minutes, let's do this. First event is a 135 kilogram axle wheels clean and press. One of the lighter guys competing at Scotland's Strongest Man today is Andy. How are you feeling, mate? Good, yeah, I'm pretty confident. What did you finish last year, you would? Uh, uh, in the final 17th. 17th. But you've been, you've been there or thereabouts for a while and your body weight, you're very fast, very quick. Um, and it's great to see, I think that's the, the beauty of Scotland's. We've got all different weights, obviously, you've got the bigger lads at 150 plus kilos and then yourself at 105. So what's the plans today? Smash it, qualify. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. Just um, static stuff's maybe slower for me, yep. Mo moving stuff. Yep, Can I pick up some points during the, the moving sure event? So, yeah, good. I'm looking forward to it, mate. Good, mate, thank you. Best luck today. We have a Scottish strongman legend here. One of the reasons, I think I got in this sport, one of the best pressers in Scotland. I remember watching you press been introduced you, sorry. Stephen Cherry. Stephen, the legend that is the Cherry, the Cherry Bomb. So, you haven't been competing for a couple of years for a few different reasons. A few injuries. A few injuries and a few, stuff. A few setbacks. Aye. Uh, you have been dominating everything anyway. So. Well, I mean, ah, that's only because you're not competing, mate. <laughs> if you were competing, it'd be a different story. But I think the last time we competed together, when was that? When would that have been? Um, I don't know. Probably would have been mate, I mean it was, we had the team pump in 2015 yes, I think right, and right. Uh, ruptured my bicep in 2016 yeah. and had a, a hernia and then issues with my knee and it's just, sounds like excuses but no. you just, I, you get so many injuries and then it's, you just uh, lose a wee bit of love for the sport so still being involved with every competition I still come and yeah, yeah, try and stay involved like I love the, love the sport so. And you've got your protégé Mikey. Mikey, yep, uh, he's, he's smashing it, man. He, he got second last year, yeah. so um, hopefully he could push on to a, a bigger level. Yeah. Uh, Scotland's obviously flying at the minute with yourself and Tom and Andy and yeah. a, a few really, really good Scottish guys, so brilliant for the sport to see. Course, man, yeah. I have kept my first Scotland Strongest Man qualifier like 15 years ago, right. and uh, I think like the max deadlift was like 310, the max log was like 135, so... Um, 
I still remember a, a big Stoltman boy coming <laughs> a few years ago and uh, that just sort of broke the mould for, for Scotland so uh, just, uh, I know for me I feel like it was you that really opened the door for that Thank you, I know, well I mean it's it's like to you yourself and Ken, I remember watching the battles you and Ken had that really pushed me on to, to want to do it and yeah. I remember doing the qualifier, my first qualifier you're the only one to do the 150 kilo long. Yep. Uh, and uh, I still watch that back and cry about <laughs> it now. It's alright, you smoked me in the shield. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. so hopefully we'll see you back competing soon, man. It'd be awesome to. It'd be nice. Yeah. It'd be nice. It's obviously completely different guys. It's a, lot, a younger crew. I think me and you are the old guys now, oh, but I know, I still, still a bit of bite left. Enough. Definitely. <laughs> no, awesome, mate. Thanks for having the chat, man. Absolutely, buddy. Thank you, mate. Absolutely. We'll Thank see you, you soon, eh? That's how you knock somebody out. I've just spotted something very suspicious. It looks like Tom Stoltman, the world's strongest man. Who is this guy? That's Photoshop. That. From 2019. I recognise that ass. <laughs> That's Tommy. When he used to do body <laughs> Who's this guy? That was me. How does it feel seeing your photos on the wall? Very humbling. I remember coming down here, no one knew who I was. I was so unknown, my first qualifier. I remember the nerves, I remember the... I almost never came here because I was that nervous, but then I came down, won the qualifier, and then obviously won some Scotland's competitions, but now coming down here and Tom and myself are on the walls of this great gym. It's very humbling, eternally grateful to Stuart Murray for the support he's shown us. He's always there at the competitions for Giants Lives. He does wonderful things for Scotland's Strongest Man. You know, he he, he does it all himself. I think my first Scotland's Strongest Man here, I lost a tooth. I nearly never competed ever again. It was through in that room, the log came right on my face. Something went flying out my mouth. And I was like, wow, that's me. Quitting Strongman for life. That's when it started in the Burns gym. So I, my tooth's somewhere in this gym and it's been lost for 10 years. You can find Tom's DNA in this gym and grow a Tom Stoltman. That's why Cherry's looking so big. He ate my tooth. <laughs> Should we skag Should we? And that is 150 is close ahead. Zach is closer behind him, so both athletes on one rep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Lewis currently on to rep number two. Zach is right on his coattails. Two reps each from both athletes so far. Come on, Zaki! Yeah, let's go! Both walking in the front at the same time. Jeez, I mean, come on! Let's do it! Come on! Come on, Zaki! 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 Come on! Yes, yes. Four reps each. Twenty seconds still to go. Come on, Zaki. Come on, Zaki. One more. Come on, Zaki. 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 Taking it easy, you got five reps there. So. Five easy. Reps. Sorry, it's impressed that you can clean it straight from say, yeah. uh, four to yeah. chest. So, yeah. so good. Good effort, Zaki. Good effort, mate. Five reps. How's that? Yeah, it was, it was okay, mate. You look strong. Yeah. Like, your pressure looked good. Your power clean straight up. You've always had good grip on your hands. Yeah. Very explosive off the floor. I think yeah, five reps will be very. Very good for that, I think. Maybe Lewis, Lewis Jack's pretty good at pressing. Nah, I think he's just taking it easy Is too. It? So he says that, he's very often. Probably just, well, maybe just one more, won't he? It's just, <laughs> probably, yeah. But no, you're a first up, so it's always a bit more difficult to go first up, I think. And, mate, like, my goal is just to qualify. Yeah, mate, so it doesn't matter. Because my goal is Scotland's strongest man. Andy! Scotland's strongest man. Me? No. no. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Today's a warm-up. <laughs> nah. Spicy. It's getting a little bit spicy. <laughs> 105 compared to normally. 
Well on day. Well on day. Nice. Very impressive. Let's go. Yes. Good. Oh, Andy. Oh, that was the first one. The best one. The third one was. Come on, Andy. Come Come on, Andy. Come on, Andy. Get it! Oh, oh. <laughs> very impressive, actually. Well, we've got two or three reps. Well, one rep for Phil Jack, one rep for two reps for two. It's not bad. I don't think he was looking forward to that one. Uh, I remember, I remember Andy from a few years ago. He was very impressive. Very fast, um, great athlete. Hope he does well. A good chap. What sort of uh, people do you think are more suited to these kind of events? Is it the lighter ones or the heavier? The heavier guys are generally better at the static stuff. So the guys are a little bit bigger. But the that's the one. Ah, oh, win. But the, the but the guys. That's the thing with Scotland's strongest man. You've got a variety of events where you can be. Not so good at the starting events, but then better at the moving events. So. But yeah, usually the, the bigger guys do but better in these type of events. Oh, nice. That's a proper Watch you. Yeah, he's that strong. He wrote the not even we can do that, bro. Who's been welding down here? Go for rep number four. So we had a little malfunction with one of the events. Does he get extra time? Come on, come on! He's got disqualified, apparently. Good reps from Andrew there, and he did well. That was five reps. Very comfortable as well, doesn't look out of breath. Stuart's getting a shot on the, the axle that's not broken, or the, the bar that's not broken. So. Yes, Stuart, well done, man. Yes, well done. One more. Five. So he's got five, he'll do one more. One more for the one. Very comfortable. <laughs> Was he brought that one? Trips. Oh, no, it's off. I'm going home. Ladies and gentlemen, the six reps. Do you agree on your new leader? <laughs> Zach is raging. This is a new one. And no shoes. Clean and fresh. He's just mental, so let's see. This, is, this guy's a good character, him. So. He'll, he'll be here. He'll have nothing on underneath him. What's sitting out or sitting in? He's actually in the socks. Go give him your sliders. I'll give him mine. Go give him your sliders. He's got no shoes. Yes! Hey Scott. How would hurt like that? Scott's a dirty belt, you know? I know. <laughs> 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 
Watch Scott! Yes, well done. Come on, Scott. Come on, Scott. Come on, Scott. Oh, Pidge. Come on! Come on, Pidge! What a machine! No shoes. Ruff got came out and thought he just picked up. No shoes, I don't give up. I don't need shoes. Ruff got sure. fell on the ground, he did a rip. Come on, come on! Come on, Pidge! Oh, Pidge! One more! Come on! Oh, Jesus. Wow. No shoes on. I've never seen that before. And he's just going to put his shoes back on. He's taken his powerlifting shoes off before he left it. And then he's going to put them back on after. What a machine. My favourite performer. Let's go get a wee chat with Peach. Hey, Ref Hawker, right? Aye. One of the legends of Scotland's front this man. Peach, how are you feeling after that? Good. I'm at Scotty Milne, who's a good blesser. Yeah, man. I would say I didn't. Surprised myself matching him, but I like oh, pressers. Yeah. Good presser, so. I noticed it was a little bit slippy. Yeah, Aye. I put my chalk too high. Aye. But you know, it's a living well. And what's, what's the thing with no, no shoes on? I, I'm too tight to buy lifters. Kind of breaking us. Yeah. I just feel more comfortable because I can feel everything. Really, I. Uh, Same with dead left, yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. Like barefooted. It's the best way to be. You see a lot of guys talking about being barefoot and you have that tripod position with your feet. Yeah. It's so much better. But fair play to me, that was really impressive. Thanks. I, I was screaming for you. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's go for the best. The <laughs> best in the world. Thank you very no, much. No, no it, was, it was awesome. Man. Well done. Thanks very much. Awesome, man. Thank you, man. Cheers. They're both very tall. So, taller guys. It's, it's usually a little bit more difficult for them to press out. Um, well, unless you're Tom Stoltman. Very nice. John is like seven foot five. Wow. Are you intimidated? Oh, Neil. It started a like, in shades trend. Eh? Where's the VIP? Where's the VIP? The VIP? The VIP? I started the be awesome trend. Hit vipers, bro. I like it. He's, he's getting he's getting quite intense, which is nice. I'm excited for this one. Actually. Big shoes, I'm expecting big things. Bigshoes.com is usually the site. Eh? Ah, power. That is powerful. One <laughs> hand. Yeah, we got Gabriel. Huh? Oh, that's fine. Come on, Neil. Yeah. Come on, Come on, Neil. Come on, Neil. Come on, Neil. Come on, Neil. Come on, <laughs> Come on, Neil! Come on! Come on! Oh. Sexy pressing from Neil. Very impressive. I like that. Oh, that was. Oh, that bit. Strict press here. It's not like that. That was a sick side. Oh, well, nice, Neil. Really, he was good as well. Huh? I didn't That's see him, to be oh, honest. Snappy. Aye. Aye, like. Like you're got more power, obviously. Aye. I was trying to save my legs for later on. Aye, that's a good sound. <laughs> well done, mate. That was impressive. What's that? We won three five. It's not my grip. It goes through fair. Aye. Uh, so the power cleaning. Uh, that's all right. Got a good power clean, isn't it? Aye. Nice. <laughs> so you've got a good power clean, you power clean anything, get you? So next up is a boy called Callum. Uh, I used to compete against him 
about 2014, 2015 uh, in juniors, so it's uh, nice to see. This is his first Scotland Storsman qualifier, so let's see how he does. But yeah, he's a very strong boy. He was very strong at powerlifting. He's, a, uh, he's very, very strong in the gym as well. So let's see what he does in Storsman. But yeah, it's good to see him back here. Yeah, you might be slow as fuck. Yeah, maybe better just because it doesn't like you don't get more points. Come on, Gavin. Yeah. And Gavin as well. He's from Down Under, anyway. So both strong guys. That's what I probably do. Yeah, He's very good at cleaning it. Well, just, uh, just the three sandbags. Good clean. Yeah. Yeah. Sandbag. Yes, 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 yes. Shaky, look, 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 look. Oh, <laughs> shaky, shaky. Good, good effort. Yeah. Again, Callum, there's one of the smaller guys here as well. And yeah. 135 for three reps is very good. Scotland's standards got in much better this year. Mikey. Aiden and Mikey. Who's next up? The youngest. Aiden, Aiden's a young junior guy. He's Scotland's strongest junior. Then we got by Mikey. Mikey also. Mikey really impresses me. He's come on a lot over the last few years. Mikey's belt on him too. The young lad's doing well, he's doing really well. And uh, a special shout out to Mikey for wearing the Stolpen shorts. Come on, Mikey! Mikey's getting switched on now. Come on, Mikey! Punch it. Just missed the last one. Hi, Rick. How are you, mate? Cheers, man. That last one, did you? Can you get hurt? Are you a hoot? Oh, you look good, mate. Not bad, man. Five. Five. Drinks in. That's how you Just keep chipping away. It gives you a good wee, a good wee blowout as well. I can have a wee, wee warm up. Bit of sandbags. Sandbags don't do that, so. Aye. Push them faster for that. What are you going to do? Just do. It's 100, 120, 140. Aye. Aye. Nice and easy for you. 10 metres. Smart shot. Good mate. <laughs> Good time. Guys, yeah, no. Some, 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 some new ones coming in from Skid. The young one, Neil. Neil. Ah, it's right with Neil. Aye. He's, he's good. Snappy, yeah. Very snappy. Nice to meet you. He's been watching a Luke Stoltman video. I think so, right? Cheers, man. Event number two, we have the sandbag run. So we have 100 kilos, 120, 140 over a 10 meter course. I believe the guys can choose however they want to lift it. I'm excited for this one because these are really fast. These are one of the, the faster paced events. We've got quite a few big looking guys, tall, uh, tall guys. Zaki will do well in this one. Zaki will win this one. Eh? He's got a new job which involves a lot of rope access work. And now he says he's one of the fastest straw men in the world, so let's see what happens. Eh? Colin Bryce, World Strongest Man, if you're watching, Miss Athletic in the corner. Something to be nice. <laughs> I'm now 90 kilos, guys, so I've lost all my weight. In this one, I think it's about a 10 meter course, I have to load it into the back of a pickup. You can do 100k first, 120 first, 140 first. So if I give someone a tip, it would be 140, 120, 100. As you get fatigued, you want to do as least work as you can and the lighter weight. So well, let's see what happens. Who's going to win, Simon? Um, Tom Stoughton, <laughs> Mr. Athletic, let's go. Oh, buddy. Let's go. Yes. Go on, buddy. Go on, mate. 
I know, I think one of Big Tommy's job is. You can do it. No. Ah. His soul has left his body. He did really well in the first two, but 140 is a heavy sandbag. He got about halfway up the course, and then, yeah, with those type of events, you can just see the soul leaving the body. It's not nice. It's, uh, yeah, half, half, halfway up the course with 140 kilo sandbag. That'll be good. So hopefully he'll claw back some points, and we'll see Bundy in the next event. Well done, all three of them loaded all three sandbags. Boom. Look at me. John McClellan is first. John Gordon is the front course of the house. John Scott's on the second bag. Nice big straight here from John. Second bag is Lee. John Gordon is not far behind him. He's got the second. And here comes Mikey Fiber bag number two. John McClellan is going on for the opponent, John. Gavin was fast there, very, very fast. Where are you getting all the food from, mate? Magic bag in there. Stuart said, help yourself, so I'm helping myself. Peach is doing this in socks. Wow. Jesus, what did you do this in socks? What? Come on, top off as well. What a boy, I love him, I love him. Shut up. Did he? I thought I Oh, God, it was too busy eating strawberries. <laughs> Callum man, my friend Callum, very good. Corner is absolutely rapid in the first bag. Lewis and then Sam comes in with the 140. All athletes now onto the 120. Corner is streets ahead. Corner is the 140 and Zaki only has a 100 left. Corner is already. 140 is loaded. Zaki comes in. Oh, this. Oh. Mr. Jellyfish. Hey. Oh, <laughs> 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 
40 seconds left. Lewis ends the first one of the week. And then the second one. Students bring up the wheel. Make it into the one train to back. He is up and he is moving. Lewis and Steve are putting up to the head. Merry Christmas, everybody. Santa Claus has come early this year. You kids have been so naughty and nice that we thought we'd treat you. But this isn't presents. You have to buy these presents because we need our money for food. Yeah. Ho, ho. So f you. <laughs> so we're just gonna okay. on set up. They call me Luca Claus because I'm like Santa Claus. But look, so I don't know what we've got. Some t-shirts and stuff. Exactly. Ugh. Don't touch my dick. So we'll quickly get set up before the deadlift starts. There's event two over with. Um, big Callum Kaiser smashing it. He's a uh, Rappi did well, Mikey Wilson did really good, Mr. Athletic Zaki did good, so there's a few big boys that did really, really well. Uh, Peach as well with his, uh, with no shoes on with his socks, that was an unbelievable effort. And I wouldn't even attempt to do any strongman stuff barefooted, but fair play to him. Yeah, but it was a good fun event. Like I said, Calum absolutely smashing it. I don't know where that came from. Um, I know he's been good at loading, but I didn't know he'd be able to beat some of the bigger guys. But yeah, very, very well done to him and on to the next one. Putting some merch out, people are asking for it, so they like, set up all the sizes. There we go, thank you very much. Yeah, of course you can. <laughs> How do you get more than me? So, uh, seven thousand. So, guys, event three is deadlift for reps, three hundred kilograms. We've been selling much, so it started about us. But yes, so the big boys are gonna. Some of the big boys are gonna pull some good uh, numbers on this. Stuart, Bandy, and Scott. So, let's see what happens next. But yeah, stay tuned, and who wins, we'll never know. Who do you think going to win? Uh, Who's the best? Lewis Jack. What are we thinking of the event? Really impressed so far. Um, so we've got deadlifts up now, 300 kilos for reps. Uh, big Lewis Jack's just going up, so. And then he'll pull, I don't know, six, seven reps if he wants to. He's just pulled a 405 deadlift. Um, looks very easy. Here's two, three, four. Yeah, very easy. Five. Jeez, oh. Five, he's having a wee break. Not six. Six, that's him, is it? I think six reps now. He's in the lead, so. I think he's happy, he's happy enough for that. Lewis, Lewis has got uh, UK's coming up soon as well, so he's saving himself for that. Which I think he'll do really well, and Lewis is one of the. I think he's one of the best up and coming uh, Scottish athletes we've got at the moment. So well rounded, great deadlifter, great presser, good at moving, and yeah, excited for his future. I think he could really do some damage in the, certainly in the UK scene and then progress from there onwards. So best of luck, you Lewis. Cheers. Next up on the deadlift we have Scott Milne who's a really good deadlifter, Mikey Wilson who's also a really good deadlifter so I think this will be quite a, a good battle, um, I think they'll both be wanting to put in a, in a good number. 
think six reps is the winning number at the moment. Yeah, it's a good show. Not been many zeros on it, which is a good standard. You know, that 300 kilo deadlift is a, is a decent level for um, for kind of the, this type of strongman. So some of the guys are doing really good reps, and yeah, probably be my deadlift to be honest. If I'm yeah, they would be because I'm rubbish. Oh, Scott! Oh, Mikey! Oh, Mikey! Cheers to Mikey. Easy peasy. <laughs> so just to make things a little bit spicy. Got a hundred pound cash. Should we make it two hundred actually? Yeah. Let's make it two hundred. Let's make it two hundred. So we're going to offer two hundred pound cash to anyone that does a sub twenty second Atlas Stone one. See, I don't really want to do it now because it's a lot of money <laughs> to anyone that can do a sub twenty second Stone one. Fair. Tom wins. You know, you need to use services once per day, five pound. Would you like? Yes. Okay. Ah. So next up, we have the yoke into chain drag. Any idea on weights? No clue. No clue. Banks, Stu's going to do good in this one, so look out for him. She'll do well, he's good in the yoke. Scott Milne as well is good in the chain. Zaki will do really well. Kind My boy, Zaki, don't let me down. Mr. Athlete, yeah. No, it's been really good, really high standard so far. So we are, this is a fourth event in. In a couple of tweaks, as there normally is. And then we're finishing on the Atlas Stones. And look, the weather's decent, you know, that's a good thing about it. So. And then we get to drive five hours all the way home. Yeah, beauty! Simon's driving all the way. <laughs> What's your favourite part of the event so far? Um, just to see how, how much more it's progressed because when we, when we used to do it there wasn't as much people down here the crowd's really good so that's nice to see and that's what Scotland's Strongest Man or the, the strength uh, scene in Scotland needs is, is more fans to kind of push it further and I think this is awesome so you know for everyone to come around to Stuart's Gym, Burns Gym support the guys like they have done today I think is really really promising to see and I think that kind of pushes us and inspires us to do something of our own and maybe work with Stuart in the future to put on a, a really cool show for, for the guys in Scotland so yeah really excited and it's just nice to see the progress what about who's, you gonna, who's gonna win Scotland's Strongest Man qualifier top 20 yeah like Luke said Scotland's Strongest Man's getting better and better a few years ago putting 300 kilograms on a bar at the Scottish qualifier was unheard of doing a 130 logs unheard of so the progression of everyone there's Loads of people are hitting reps today, so it's looking impressive. Strength-wise and conditioning-wise, everybody's looking good. Two events left, and uh, yeah, let's finish it on a high and see who wins it. But 20 guys go through, so who's your 20, baby? Cheers. One of the, I'd say, the title contenders for Scotland's Strongest Man. Sure, how are you feeling? You had a little... Uh... <laughs> Everything was going good until uh, I dropped 300 kilos on my knee in the last rep, so... Yeah, um, I don't want to touch it. Don't, yeah, you can touch it if you want, but no, it's fine. Um, but yeah, overhead was, I won overhead, then yeah. sandbagging didn't go as planned, but then I think I was either first or second on um, deadlift, so we'll see what goes like next. Yeah, and then you've got yoke and chain drag next, right? Yoke into chain, yeah. So you're one of the best yokes probably in the world, I'd say. Yeah, I think uh, so. Yeah. yeah, I'm waiting for a chance to try and break a world record and yeah. some sort on it, so. I don't even know. It'd be interesting to see you on the car walk. You ever yeah. done anything like that? Did a car walk at OSG in Florida. Right. Um, so I came, I think, from second on that against right. one of the big American okay, boys. Yeah. And I think Pablo actually. Pablo oh, um, yeah, won yeah, yeah. OSG when we went yes, right there. Right. So, yeah. It's Pablo, good guy. That'll be interesting. So, well, I'll see what happens. Do you think you'll carry on? or? I'll see if I've got enough points to qualify ah. then to rest up for the next good one. Good bit. And what's the next one? You've got UKs, right? UKs in UKs. June. So. Okay, cool. Smash UKs. Scotland's strongest man in September. Then come Giants live. That's the plan. Let's do it, mate. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Come, you can be the massager. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we talk a lot about hard work, dedication, consistency. What you got to remember, guys? We've all got the same 24 hours in a day. We do what we do. 
my one o'clock in the morning is the same as your one o'clock in the morning. Unless there's time difference, but you know what I mean. So remember, you can work 24 hours a day if you want to, because we all have the same. Achieve, believe, and be great, because we all have the same potential. But not really, but we have the same ability to do stuff. Or just don't be like Molly May. <laughs> or don't live off your brother like Tommy Fury. Yeah, that's it. Look, lives off me, I'm world strongest man. Hey! So, guys, we're on event four, the yoke into chain drag. I think Stuart Graham was, for me, the favourite in this event, but he's got a bit of a dodgy knee, so who knows what happened. I've been watching a few of them. A few of them have been good on the yoke, it's just a chain that, obviously, usually with an event like this, you, you, you do balls out on the yoke, but now you still have to do a chain, so, you know, a yoke, as you know, you pick it up, you keep everything tight and you walk the chain is. You know, if you pick the chain up wrong, walk, you're going to fall over. If you don't take enough links on the ground, it's going to be hard. So, you know, the chain as well, it's all about, you know, getting as much strength as you can, leaning back and just keeping those feet going and keep breathing. So, uh, yeah, I think, um, obviously, the likes of Zaki, Scott Mill, and the people that are used to this event and done it before are going to be really good at it. So, very good to watch. But again, a nice, inter interesting event for the qualifier, getting on in good time and... Again, a nice, good feel of, of athletes. Like I said before, it brings back memories. You know, this bit where we're standing is where I competed. I pulled deadlifts here, did the Atlas Stone through there as well. Um, remember one of my first comps, I did the 180 Atlas Stone. And that's when I was like, wow, the heck, I can lift Atlas balls. So I've been, you know, it's been, like I said, this is where I started Strongman. Stuart's been very good to myself and Luke. We've kind of gone up the ranks. We've helped each other on the way. and. Uh, yeah, I enjoyed my time doing the qualifier. I always came down, I always enjoyed it. Met really good people here. You know, even Zach, you've done a qualifier with him. Even the boys still, to this day, competing in this qualifier. I've done a good few qualifiers with them. So it's nice just to be here, you know, soaking it all up, watching them and uh, getting the crack, and that's what it's all about. Yeah. Ah -ha, running down the wing. Ah -ha, hear the Rangers sing. Ah -ha, we are gonna win the league. <laughs> Are you going to win the league? Oh, jeez. Okay. 
Sorry, I'll phone you back later, Will Smith. Hey, uh, <laughs> Martin Ford, you ready, bitch? <laughs> Half for Beyonson, you ready, bitch? Evan Singleton, you ready, bitch? Oh. oh my god, that was amazing. That was the most nicest donut I've ever had in my life. I was got toffee inside it. <laughs> Then you're underwater, okay, good. Hi guys, so last event, Stones, um, top 20 go through. Obviously, you know, with Scott Milne and stuff, I don't think, I think a lot of people would just do one or two Stones and leave it. Uh, I know Zaki's probably gonna do that. Scott will probably do that. Lewis will probably do that. So there'll be a lot of guys that won't we do the full run, but a few of the cat guys that are maybe 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, first place, will do the Stone run. So I don't know who's gonna win this, but let's watch and see. Mr. Athletic I have Mr. Athletic has qualified for I've the qualified, Scottish final. So I'm away home now. You're going to beat Andrew Black? Mate, that's the plan, mate. He's going to Lanzarote for seven days to get yeah. absolutely mad with it. Come the final, it will be. And then you! You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you pulled up. Uh -uh, no, I didn't pull up. <laughs> I'm just going home. He's been smart. I said, I'm being smart. There you go. Uh, smart and intelligent for once in his life. <laughs> Because you're the world's strongest man. <laughs> My G. My G. My G. Subscribe to Zach Malusi's uh, YouTube channel, Mr. Athletic, if anybody wants to know. Ring that little bell and turn notifications on. And keep ringing that little bell. Three sweeties and free food. Final event, the Atlas Stones. Up to 180, I think it is. So, been a bit of a brutal day for some of the guys. Some of the boys have decided not to do the last event because it is just a qualifier. So, uh, Big Zaki Malouzi, he's uh, opted to give the stones a miss. He's already qualified, which I think is it's a smart smart idea because Zaki hasn't done stones for a while. Quite an exciting last event. I remember being here shouting for Tom um, and his qualifying days. Tom was never here shouting for me, but we will see who will win the Scotland Strongest Man Qualifier 2022. Come on! Let's go again! Big pick up, 
Yes! 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 man qualifier finished we are here with the man that made it all possible for both Tom he's just joined us here and myself Mr. Stuart Murray the godfather, the godfather of Scottish Strongman the guy that's made Scotland. our Scotland. made Scotland yeah. so Stuart's the, the guy behind Scotland's strongest man very first competition that Tom and I both did was for Stuart so it's a privilege and a pleasure to be down here today um, in front of all these great athletes Bringing so, back some good memories. It was, yeah. yeah. Log chipping my tooth for my first competition. <laughs> also, yeah. I'd change it for the world. Oh, so, so, great. <laughs> so how, how, how many people are going through the final? Sure. Today we, we, we're taking 19 through the final, and the 20th person being Andy Black, who's a reigning Scotland's strongest man. That's what we usually do. We take the previous winner through. He yep. doesn't have to qualify. Nice. So we'll take 19 with two reserves, Magic. maybe three reserves, because usually someone falls out due yep. to injury or maybe work commitments or, or okay. something like awesome. that. You know. And when, when is it now? It's September. The se September the 17th is the date I've been given in right. the SEC in Glasgow. Cross. Uh, a Saturday show. 
<laughs> hopefully out with involvement of you guys. If we're allowed to come down, of course we'll be. Of course, be. I. If you Big buy a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It's on the business anyway. It's on the business. <laughs> uh, we're going we're, we're gonna to work together. A lot of us are going to work together yeah, to make it the biggest Scottish strongest land it's been. Yeah. Uh, for the sake of Scotland, the two Scottish strongest man. There is only one Scotland strongest man, and this man is it. Is it? And remember, remember that, guys, right? Yeah. So, thank you for having us, guys. It's been an awesome day, really impressive. For no, yep. it's been amazing. It's Some really good, much. strong men. Some new guys as yeah. well. There's really some talent yeah. right through the ranks yeah. in yeah. Scotland now, so it's going to be good. But. I don't think Andy's going to have an easy, uh, easy time with it. I He's think. not, no. I, uh, think, I think he'll have his work cut out. But, uh, uh, a few guys surprised me today, certainly improved from last oh, year. Oh, huge, yeah. You know, yeah. Neil Anderson, I think he's got through. Good. But the smallest lad here today. Yeah. He was very impressive. Dynamite, really, yeah. you know, for the size of that guy. Size of quarters I, well. I think he scraped through at the yeah. final, you know, so. Oh, but uh, nice to see all the guys come out the crowd as well. A big yeah. crowd today, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And hopefully that'll, if you guys want to come and see it, please come down yep. September 17th. Tickets will be for sale <laughs> shortly. Awesome. So buy a ticket, nice and cheap. No coins with this Scotland strongest man. <laughs> the full show, the proper oh. athletes. No silly places. There we go. Good. <laughs> Spot on shirt. Thanks for having us, mate. Yep. We'll catch you later. Appreciate it. Man. Cheers, cheers. Yeah. yeah. Just, right, guys, thank you for watching. Stay safe, smile, and stay spicy. And as always, guys, please don't forget to ring that be little bell. Ding 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 Hey, with a 10 a.m. service when Vanessa's coming. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop! <laughs> <laughs> you gonna subscribe to YouTube channel? No, yeah? no. This is, this is not just any strong man. This is the strongest man in the history of Scottish strongman. Right here.